Whew. Whew. All right, guys. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be a literal new bullshit review on JB headers, JBA headers for F 150s 04 to 2010, 5. Point, or no, 4.6 liters. I'm sorry. As you guys know from a previous video, a couple previous videos on this damn truck, um, I have a friend's F 150 in here. And like usual, the uh, bolts are broken off in the head. I got two on the driver's side we're gonna be fixing, maybe even in this video here. And um, I'm putting headers on it as well because there's no point in putting stock manifolds back on the thing if you already got it out. The first set of headers that we ended up getting were these, these pieces of junk here. You can check back on the other videos to see what the name of them are. Maybe some people already know. But we ended up going with some JBAs and just to show you the difference, this is the passenger or driver, I'm sorry, driver's side, driver's side header right there. Better example. So driver's side JBL and the other, other driver's side, which doesn't fit. Here is the passenger side header, which I'll be honest with you, this looks like a much better design compared to this. I don't know what they were doing here. This is the JBA header on the top and the other one on the bottom, which did not fit. This had all kinds of issues um, getting in there and doing what it was supposed to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put this new header in and I'll be honest with you, I think, I think we'll be able to just fit it in there without even messing around too much. I I'm almost believe that this header would probably go in with the engine all the way down as well. Um, so, Let's just see what we got here, ladies and germs. So, ah, man, I hope this thing just goes right in nice and simple like. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Oh yeah. Hopefully you guys can see that, but that thing goes right up against there, dude. Oh, I'm so freaking happy right now. It's not even funny. <sighs> yep, perfect. Perfect, let's get it out of there. Look at that. Don't even need to really, really raise the engine more than likely for that guy. That's freaking awesome, guys. I'm so, so freaking happy that this side freaking fits. Yes, I'm making a thumbnail. Whatever. <laughs> oh, you don't know. This, this car, guys, have been, it's been haunting me. Haunting me and taking up space in the shop and just taking up time and you know I've got to get the CTSV done and I got other stuff I got to get done and, and over with and this thing's kind of been kicking my ass lately um, And I'm very I'm very tired of it. I do have Two bolts over here On this side you can't really see them because it's dark, but there's uh, two bottom bolts That are broken off in the head and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my welder that's over in the other part of the shop here. And uh, we're gonna weld in there as much as we can. We're gonna take a nut, put it on the end, and I'll show you step by step. I'm not obviously gonna show you me welding, but maybe I will, who knows, I don't know. But we're gonna try that, but first, we're gonna get this uh, passenger side header on and bolt it up and done finally. And then we'll start working on the driver's side and maybe we'll even get that header on today too. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned guys. The one last thing before I show you this header in is the JBAs come with all the bolts. You have new uh, head bolts, you have new flange bolts, you have lock washers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have everything. And the part number, they say it should be on the flange here somewhere. Uh, 1687S is the part number on these headers. This should be the same thing. 1687S. So if you're looking for headers for your F 150, do them. All right, guys, I definitely want you to see how this looks in here. As you can see, nothing is hitting. Uh, the dipstick tube for the transmission needs to be replaced because that's all goofed up. But we'll do that here in a little bit. We don't need to do that this very minute. But um, yeah, look at that. That header fits really good. I'm gonna go ahead and button this down. I did put anti-seize on all the bolts 
and I put copper sealant on the head gasket or not the head gasket on the header gasket to help it seal a little bit better once it heats up and uh, flexes and everything but uh as you can see at least for the uh, passenger side this header fits very 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 well all right guys after a lengthy period of time <laughs> getting this header uh bolted up which it was a lengthy period of time not gonna lie um i will tell you the starter does have to come out uh starters right there it does have to come out in order to make it easier to get to these bottom bolts back here so the the mating bolts of these top two down here um other than that the rest of them really aren't that bad to get to a few of them you do have to wrench um uh, as opposed to putting a socket on some of them you can put a socket on with the ratchet and tighten them down but uh there you go boys and girls the passenger side header is completely done i probably will throw the starter back in here uh before i leave today and i don't think we're gonna get over to the other side here because that's a whole other video all by itself really to be honest with you but um as you can see that's a tight fit and then the one up front here is going to be a tight fit to get to as well um, i'm going to have to get the welder out probably tomorrow when i get back in here i'll break the welder out and uh and kind of go from there and hopefully get this thing wrapped up there's basically with the engine completely sat back down again you can see there's not a lot of room in here guys there really is not a lot of room at all we have to get a new uh, dipstick tube for the transmission um luckily that's not too hard to do we got uh our main bolts here and everything there's our uh, mount bolts we can probably put them in before we leave but yeah man i tell you what whew, what a job what a job <sighs> man boys and girls i tell you what uh i'm not doing these jobs anymore i'm fucking over it this somebody here i heard somebody go by yeah, I guess not. Nobody cares about me. Um, yeah, not gonna lie, like, this thing is no joke doing headers on one of these things. And it's been one of those long processes where it was supposed to take a weekend, maybe two weekends at the very most. And then we had bolts snapping off. We had issues with the headers not fitting. Um, just a whole bunch of dumb stuff that was getting in the way of getting this freaking thing done. And finally, we're at the point that we can finally get it done. I do know that on the driver's side of the truck, I probably can't see it, but on the driver's side of the truck, we're definitely gonna have to take the dipstick tube out for the oil pan as well. All right, guys, sorry about that. Somebody uh, stopped by the shop with a diesel Volkswagen, which was actually pretty cool. I like diesel Volkswagens. It's like a little Jetta or something. But um, yeah, so, oh, one, one last thing I'm gonna throw in this video for you guys. My uh, bulletproof hitch, my last part for my bulletproof hitch showed up and i definitely want to show you guys it um but yeah my pinto hitch setup showed up and i want to show you guys what that's all about there we go it comes out like this like so and basically which is really neat about this is this actually slides down over top of that and then i put my pin in and presto guys i have a pinto hitch setup for uh, pinto hitches so pretty happy about that that was the last part of the uh whole hitch setup that came from uh bulletproof hitches which is pretty fucking awesome their link will be down in the description and the sponsors links down there you can go check them guys out but yeah other than that we're pretty much good to go here um i am going to probably i mean comment below guys comment below let me know if you guys want to at least see a little bit of a video of me uh welding and taking those uh bolts out i can definitely at least do a video of um the back one because that'll be easy to record with the gopro i can put the gopro in there and start freaking bzz, 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 welding and all that jazz but uh, let me know comment below let me know if you want a video of that i'll be more than happy to make a video of that for you guys i'll probably be here late tomorrow i'm hoping tomorrow i can get the other bolts out of the other side get the driver side header on which is in that box right there and put the y pipe on put the starter in 
Uh, and then all I got to do is replace the EGR tube and I have to replace the um, uh, trans dipstick, which I'm going to order from Ford here today before the day's out. Get those two pieces coming. That way it's ready to rock and roll and I'm not missing anything. And then hopefully, God willing, you know, this thing is out of my life. Because this is a big truck, guys. It takes up a lot of space. There's a few cars outside that I desperately need to get in here, which I'm trying to do. But I figured I'd help my buddy out here and get this done for him. And it turned out to, to be a little bit more of a project than I care to uh, amuse. But um, here we are. We're here now. So we're going to do it. We're going to make it happen. And we're going to make sure everything's right and everything's golden. And then we're going to move on to whatever's next. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You've seen a little bit of a progress thing on this F-150, which I'm very happy about. Um, I was kind of disturbed when I seen these headers didn't fit, but it's all fixed now, guys. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, do me a big, big favor. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Deuces, guys.